Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Nineman with Nineman Chiropractic Clinic, and thanks for joining us again in another week in our video blog series. Uh, what we're covering uh, last week, today, and next week, uh, we're going over the nervous system. Uh, last week we talked about the cervical spine. This week we're going to talk about the thoracic spine. Now, one thing I want to emphasize is, you know, I think most people understand that when we're talking the nervous system and the spine, people understand that the the spinal nerves that come out of out of the spine, I think most people understand that they control uh, various uh, muscles, uh, you know, make your arms move, make your legs move. I think most people get that. And so what I'm emphasizing uh, over these next few weeks is uh, more organ function and how it relates back through the nervous system, uh, you know, to the spine. Uh, that's what I'm emphasizing on. Um, you know, like last week with the, with the cervical spine, I could have went more into the brachial plexus, which are the, are the, the nerves the lower vertebral, uh, cervical vertebral nerves that control uh, all the functions in your arms. I could have went more into that, but uh, you know, again, I want to emphasize more how the organs function from these same nerves uh, that come from the spine. So, um, so this week we're going to focus on the thoracic spine. Uh, you know, last week I mentioned how the cervical spine or the neck is are the top seven vertebra in the spine. The thoracic spine are the next twelve vertebra below the neck. So we're talking about the base of the neck here down to basically the bottom of the rib cage and right below this is the, is the lumbar spine which we're going to cover next week. So we're talking about these 12 vertebrae here. Um, again basically uh, it's where the rib cage is and the spine where the ribs attach to the spine. Those are th the thoracic vertebra. And uh, <clears throat> as most people know you have a lot of, of very important organs uh, underneath the rib cage. That's where all the here vitals are. Um, you know, and these, these organs have very important functions in the body. And again, they're controlled by nerves that come, you know, back to the spinal cord inside the spinal column. Um, you know, the first thing we're going to cover up in the top of the thoracic spine uh, is the esophagus. You know, this once you eat food, it travels down the esophagus and the esophagus goes down to your stomach. So this es esophagus is an important pathway for food from your mouth to your stomach. Uh, you know, the esophagus, uh, it's controlled by, you know, it has innervation from the T1 nerve, uh, nerves uh, and the T5 and T6 nerves. Uh, so again, very important uh, function. It's, it's got to get food to the stomach uh, for digestion. Uh, you know, another, another uh, structure in this area is the trachea, uh, which is basically where, you know, you, you take air in, the trachea carries that air down to your lungs. So again, another important function. Uh, the trachea is innervated by the T1 nerve right up here at the, at the top of the thoracic spine. Uh, <clears throat> you know, then inside the rib cage, probably you know, the most important is, is your heart. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, everyone knows the heart pumps blood to all, all parts of your body. Uh, you know, and, and the heart has innervation from the T1 through the T5 nerves. Uh, so several different levels there uh, where you got nerves coming out going to the heart. Uh, <clears throat> the lungs, which also is in the same area, uh, Again, self-explanatory, everyone knows that the lungs enable you to breathe. They do the breathing for you. Uh, and, the, and the lungs, you know, get most of their nerve innervation from the T2 to the T4 nerve areas. Uh, again, which is kind of the upper part of the thoracic spine. Um, <clears throat> next, you can go down to the gallbladder, which is kind of up under your, uh, the right side of your rib cage there. It's kind of tucked behind the liver. Uh, gallbladder has a very important function. Uh, it stores, uh, stores bile. And bile uh, basically helps break down uh, fats uh, in the body. So, um, and, and those those uh, bile is made from the liver. So that bile is made in the liver and it stores in the gallbladder. So again, the gallbladder stores all the bile for you. Uh, you know, in the gallbladder it has uh, innervation from T4 and T7 through T9. So again, we're talking about the the top, the upper to, to mid thoracic area. All those some of those nerves go to the gallbladder. Um, I mentioned the liver. Liver, again, everyone pretty much understands the importance of the liver. You know, it, one of its biggest functions is it, it's a filter for the body. It, fil it filters toxins. Um, but again, like I mentioned, it also produces that bile, which helps break down fats. Uh, and the liver gets most of its nerve innervation from the T5 to T8 area, which again is kind of kind of mid mid thoracic uh, region. Um, let's let's get back and come up here to the stomach again. I was when I was talking about the esophagus. The stomach, uh, <clears throat> obviously it's where your food goes down and that's where your digestion begins. Acids in the stomach help start breaking down all the food uh, before it goes to your small intestine. Uh, and the stomach 
uh, like the liver, has innervation from the T5 to the T8 area, again, uh, mid-thoracic. Um, from the stomach, food goes into the small intestine. Small intestine, again, another very important function. Uh, you know, it, it helps with digestion, uh, but, but, but also, you know, really important, it, uh, it absorbs nutrients. So when you're, when you're taking in those nutrients, uh, you know, they're mostly being absorbed uh, through, via that uh, small intestine. Um, that's why you need those. Um, you know, the large intestine, uh, which is, which, you know, after food goes through the small intestine, it goes into the large intestine. Uh, the function of the large intestine is uh, most, once food gets into there, uh, you know, because it's been absorbed into the small intestine, so now it's in the large intestine, and most of this is uh, indigestible material. The purpose of the large intestine is to, to absorb most of the water out of that indigestible material. Um, you know, the large intestine, uh, that's mostly innervated by uh, the T10 through the T12 nerve root levels, uh, which is the lower thoracic. Um, the small intestine is mostly the T6 through the T9 levels, uh, and there's some innervation at T12 as well. So, again, we're getting into that mid to lower thoracic areas, uh, that's, you know, those nerves are going to those organs. Um, the pancreas, uh, <clears throat> very important, uh, has several different functions. Uh, you know, one, it helps release uh, digestive enzymes which aid in digestion, uh, but two, it also produces hormones which help regulate blood sugar, namely insulin. Uh, you know, so <clears throat> people who have diabetes, you know, they have, uh, you know, some of those people, you know, there's type 1, type 2, but, you know, they're not, their body's not producing enough insulin, you know, the pancreas isn't making enough insulin. So, pancreas, very important function besides digestion is regulating hormones and blood sugar levels. Uh, that's regulated uh, by the T7 through the T10 area, which again is lower thoracic. Um, the spleen, which sits on the left side of the body, uh, you know, that's, that's a blood filter. That's, you know, it filters red blood cells. Uh, that's also innervated by T7 through T10. Again, kind of the mid-lower uh, thoracic region. Um, and then we get to the kidneys, which again, I think most people understand what kidneys are, but you know, they obviously filter waste. Uh, the waste that your body filters goes you know, through the kidneys, and this is obviously excreted uh, you know, from the body via the form of urine. Um, so very important, uh, kidneys very important uh, in the body, but those, those again are innervated by the T10 through the T12 nerve levels. Um, and then also we have, uh, you know, in women we have the uterus, uh, ovaries, um, pretty self-explanatory, the reproductive organs. Uh, those are innervated, again, lower thoracic, T9 through the T12 uh, areas. So I kind of just took you through the organs and kind of top to bottom uh, through the nervous system and the thoracic spine. Uh, again, these nerves coming out of your spine not only go to muscles, uh, but they go to organs and have very important functions in the body. So again, by getting adjusted from your chiropractor, uh, it's going to enable your nervous system uh, to function at, a, you know, at near 100%, and thus those organs should also be functioning near 100%. So, um, you know, besides offering pain relief as a chiropractor, you may, again, just notice that you feel healthier, your body seems to function better when you're getting adjusted. So, hope this was informative, kind of went through a lot of different organs uh, there uh, and a lot of different uh, levels of the nerv nervous system. Uh, Next week, the last part in our nervous system series, uh, we're going to go through the lumbosacral spine, talk about all those nerves and, and what areas that they control. So, hope this was informative for you. Thanks for joining us again this week. Uh, we'll see you right back here next week. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Sounds like we may have some snow coming, so stay warm, stay safe. Thanks.